When Russian President Vladimir Putin threatens to use nuclear weapons, he must remember that NATO is also a nuclear alliance, according to French Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius. According to NATO, nuclear weapons owned by members France, United Kingdom, and the United States are a critical component of the alliance's overall deterrence and defense capabilities. Putin had initiated the strike on Ukraine early Thursday emphasizing that Russia was still one of the biggest nuclear powers in the world and warning that a direct attack on Russia would result in destruction. Yes, I think that Vladimir Putin must also understand that the Atlantic Alliance is a nuclear alliance. That is all I will say about this, French Foreign Minister told media. Le Drian also stated that France is looking at a number of requests for assistance from Ukraine, including military assistance. They made us a list of military equipment. We are in the process of studying it to try to respond as best as possible to their request as quickly as possible, he said. In the meantime, Lidrian launched a personal assault on Putin, calling him a cynic and a dictator. Meanwhile, US President Joe Biden announced further penalties against Russia, claiming that Putin chose this war and displayed a sinister worldview in which states take what they want by force. Other countries have imposed sanctions or have indicated that they may do so soon. President Vladimir Putin stated on Thursday that Russia's special military operation in Ukraine was a force measure because Moscow had run out of options. He also assured the international community that Russia did not want to damage the global economic system. Russia resumed missile strikes around 4 a.m. on Friday, according to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, although Russian soldiers were halted from advancing in most directions. Following Russian President Vladimir Putin's announcement of military actions in Ukraine, the shelling begins the second day of fighting. Earlier, Ukrainian president claimed 137 people have been murdered so far, including 10 military members and 316 people had been injured. Meanwhile, Biden has stated that if Putin pushes into NATO countries, Washington will interfere, emphasizing that if his Russian counterpart is not stopped now, he will become emboldened. The Baltic states of Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia, as well as countries of NATO's eastern border, have all received the first batches of US military troops and equipment. News Desk, Kamadi Global.